France and Italy rank as each other's second largest trading partners, with trade between them amounting to hundreds of billions of dollars annually. Thus, establishing a high-quality transport link is economically vital. However, the Alps mountain range, stretching across the entire Franco-Italian border and reaching elevations of up to three miles above sea level, poses a significant challenge to achieving this transport goal. But in a bold endeavor to connect the two nations, France and Italy are now undertaking the construction of a $28 billion railway through the Alps. Today, we will explore the new turin leon Railway, examining the scope of its construction, its distinctive features, and its positive and negative impacts. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The plan for a rail link between France and Italy dates back centuries. In the 1850s, the Kingdom of Sardinia began building the Victor Emmanuel Railway between Culas and Turin with the aim of traversing the Alps. Then, in 1871, construction of the 8.5 miles long Frages Rail Tunnel was completed, and the railway finally opened, linking the territories of France and Italy. In the early 20th century, the single-track railway was doubled and electrified, and it has undergone several renovations since then. Despite these improvements, this railway remains significantly outdated. Its narrow tunnels restrict the maximum allowed heights, limiting the size of trains that can pass through. Additionally, the railway features numerous sharp curves, necessitating low travel speeds. Moreover, it has a challenging profile with a maximum gradient of 3% and a peak elevation of 4,390 feet, requiring trains to double or triple their locomotives just to traverse it. On top of all this, modern safety regulations prohibit passenger and freight trains from passing each other in the Frages Rail Tunnel, creating a major transport bottleneck. Lastly, the route's passage through the steep Morian Valley makes it vulnerable to landslides, one of which occurred in August 2023, forcing the railway's closure until summer 2024. Due to all these issues, most freight and passengers traveling between France and Italy currently use trucks or airplanes, with a total of 3 million trucks crossing between the two countries each year. However, this method is both energy inefficient and harmful to the environment. Consequently, in 1990, the French state-owned railway company SNCF proposed constructing a high-speed rail line between Lyon and Turin. Just a year later, the Alpine nations ratified the Alpine Convention, aiming to limit road transport through the mountains in favor of developing modern rail transport. The 1999 Mont Blanc Tunnel Fire which resulted in 39 deaths, further reinforced this decision. In 2001, the design for the Lyon Turin rail link was drafted, and by 2005, it was integrated into the EU's trans-European transport network. Finally, after over a decade of planning, in January 2017, the parliaments of France and Italy ratified an international treaty to build the railway, officially authorizing its construction. The turin leon Railway will span 168 miles between France and Italy and is divided into three sections. On the French side, it will begin on the outskirts of Lyon, where it will connect with France's LGV Sud-Est high-speed rail line, which continues north to Paris and the LGV Ron Alp and Mediterranean lines running south to Marseille. The railway will then follow the A43 motorway before diverging to pass through a 14 miles long tunnel beneath the Chartreuse Mountains and another 12.5 miles long tunnel under the Beldon Mountains before reuniting with the A43 motorway until the town of saint jean de maurienne On the Italian side, the railway will begin in northeast Turin, where it will connect with Italy's AV high-speed rail line, continuing to Milan and down the Italian peninsula. The railway will then wind up into the Alps before reaching the town of Bussolino. The third segment, the international section between Morien in France and Bussolino in Italy, is managed by a joint French-Italian venture called Telt. This segment will span 43 miles and feature the 36 miles long Mont Dambin base tunnel, 
also known as the Mont Sainis Base Tunnel, which will be the longest rail tunnel in the world, surpassing the current record holder, the Goddard Base Tunnel in Switzerland, by 0.2 miles. 28 miles of the tunnel will be located in France, while the remaining 8 miles will be in Italy. The tunnel will have twin tubes. It will also feature deep ventilation shafts, passenger evacuation rooms, underground service and rescue stations, and fire mitigation and smoke extraction systems. To excavate the tunnel, seven tunnel boring machines will be used, except for a three-mile section of hard rock, which will be removed using traditional drilling and blasting methods. The new rail line will have a maximum gradient of only 0.1%, compared to 3% for the old line and a maximum altitude of just 1,900 feet, compared to 4,390 feet for the old line. Additionally, the route will feature much wider curves than the old railway. These improvements will save energy costs and allow for faster travel, with heavy freight trains traveling at 100 km per hour and passenger trains at 220 km per hour just slightly below the 250 km per hour threshold used by the EU to define high-speed rail lines. The total project cost is estimated at $28 billion, with $9.2 billion allocated for the Mont Dambin base tunnel. The tunnel's cost will be co-financed, with the EU covering 40%, Italy covering 35%, and France covering the remaining 25%. The other $18.8 billion for the French and Italian sections of the project will be funded by their respective governments. Furthermore, the new turin lyon link is an integral part of the Mediterranean corridor of the EU's trans-European transport network, which runs from Spain in the west to Hungary in the east. Since construction was authorized in 2017, the turin lyon rail link has made significant progress. Excavation of a large section of the Mont Dambin base tunnel began as inspection work, prior to official approval. By 2019, this section had been completed on budget and on schedule, representing 8% of the final tunnel length. By September 2021, construction contracts totaling $28 billion were signed. In August 2023, work began on the French entrance to the Mont Dambin tunnel, and contracts were awarded for the excavation of the 15.5 miles of tunnel on the Italian side. Lastly, by December 2023, the tunnel construction site on the Italian side was opened. As of January 2024, there were 11 active work sites involving 2,500 professionals. Many of these workers are anticipating the arrival of the tunnel boring machines in 2024. Over the following years, the Mont Dambin Tunnel will be excavated, and the turin lyon Railway will be constructed. By its planned opening in 2032, the new link will unite France and Italy, boosting their economies and positively impacting the environment. Speaking of its positive impact, the new turin lyon Railway link will bring numerous benefits to France and Italy. Firstly, it will increase rail capacity and transport speeds, supporting trains of up to 1,500 tons compared to 700 tons currently, resulting in a 40% net energy savings. These improvements are expected to double rail traffic, generating 500 million euros in annual economic benefits while strengthening the regional economy. Additionally, the railway will integrate with France and Italy's high-speed rail networks, significantly reducing travel times across the region. For instance, the journey from Turin to Lyon will take only 1 hour and 47 minutes, compared to the current 3 hours and 47 minutes, while Paris to Milan travel time will be reduced to just 4 and half hours, down from the current 7 hours. Furthermore, by diverting a potential 25 million tons of freight traffic from road to rail annually, the railway will have a positive environmental impact. Although its construction is estimated to generate 10 million tons of CO2 emissions, once operational, it will remove an estimated 1 million trucks from the roads of the Alps each year, preventing CO2 emissions equivalent to that of a city of 300,000 residents. This will offset construction emissions within 15 years, 
and over the railway's 120-year lifespan, it is projected to prevent a total of 105 million tons of net CO2 emissions. While the new Turin Leon Railway will bring many benefits, there has been some criticism. Locals have expressed concern about the impact of drilling, concreting, and washing on the region's precious alpine water resources. There are also worries that construction could damage ecological sites, and that excavated rock may end up being dumped in the region's forests. However, measures have been taken to address these concerns, with 65% of excavated material being reused within construction and the remaining 35% stored appropriately. Additionally, many believe the project is simply too expensive and that funds should be redirected towards improving current infrastructure. Despite the opposition, the project's predicted benefits will hopefully outweigh the costs, leading to its progression. What are your thoughts on the new Turin Leon Railway? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.